Well, Judd, it was a hard-fought opener, but um, a century in the second kind of got you on your, on your way. Yeah, it was a tough game, I think. Um, we both struggled a little bit. I played OK in spells. Missed the odd easy ball. Um, happy to get through to the next round. It's a decent crowd out there tonight. Your sort of entertaining brand of snooker tends to do that. Yeah, it was it was nice. Um, it was the first time I think I've played in this sort of area of the country. Um, so a few new fans for me to play in front of and hopefully everyone enjoyed it. Robin's a really capable player on his day. Did you feel that he was a little bit nervous tonight? Is that what happens when you play a, you know, a kind of top five player? Uh, I think he's been around a lot. He's, he's experienced, he's, he's a great player. I think um, obviously it's the first round he probably needs the points, so it, it's quite tough for him to, to probably have drawn me first game. So I think obviously he's always going to be under a little bit of pressure. Um, and it would be quite a big win if he, if he could get it. So I think um, I, I did enough to win today. I played some good stuff in spells and he he probably missed a few that he would normally get against um, some of the low ranked players. So I think it was a bit of both today. We saw you out in Hong Kong before the China Championship. How beneficial was that experience at the Hong Kong Institute? Yeah, it was, it was enjoyable for me. I think um, it was nice seeing a few of the other athletes from different sports training hard and um, kind of inspired me to keep practicing hard and, and, and working at gym and keeping fit and other stuff like that and, and playing five or six hours a day. You're the only top eight player that's under the age of 30. It's quite an unusual thing in the world of sport that. I mean, those guys were were kind of around when you burst on the on the tour, but it's quite an unusual thing, isn't it, in sport? Yeah, I think um, yeah the game has changed. I think since I turned professional, I think especially um, the top 16 used to be seeded, and the year I got through to do that, they changed it, the whole game. So I think um, I think for the game, I think it would have kind of been the same. I think um, they they kind of opened it up, so they thought they'd get a few new players through, and it's kind of had complete opposite effects. So I think. Um, yeah, it's a lot tougher now for the for the sort of younger players trying to come through playing sort of the top 16 every time they come to a tournament. So I think um, it can be a good experience, but on the other hand, it can be a bit detrimental as well. There's nine players with 10 ranking titles to the name, and a lot of people kind of expect your name to join that list at some point. How much would you like to be the 10th player to have 10 rank ranking titles? It would, it would be good, I think. Um, I've still got a bit of time on my side compared to uh, some of the other players that are already up there. I think um, I've still got chances to probably, in my own head, if I if I can get to 20, I think I'd be quite happy with that. Um, and th I don't think that's too far away. This only sort of a tournament a season. Um, but I think for me, it is about enjoying my snooker, which I am at the moment practicing hard and trying to learn from some of the other top players um, while they're still around, I think. We saw a 147 today, the 142nd 147 in, in history. How much would you like to be the man that, that makes the 147th, which is a, a, a kind of real possibility this season? Yeah, I think I'm kind of due one as well. I, I haven't had one for a couple of seasons. Um, I feel like my scoring is starting to come back a little bit now. The, the centuries are coming in. The start of the season was a bit of a struggle and I feel like now I'm coming into some form. So I think any time you can get a 147, I think is is good for you and uh, I think Tep Chai is probably one of the most attacking players and most enjoyable to watch so it's always good when he gets one as well. Well let's hope it comes this week. Cheers. Man.